Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you drum machine style MIDI recording in Reaper. Now the idea of drum machine style MIDI recording is it's going to allow us to loop record sections, which is how a drum machine typically works. And also overdub recording, where we can record a new pass after each loop that doesn't erase the previous one. So we can layer the parts that are too complicated or hard to play at once. And also quantize on the way in. So as we listen to the previously recorded passes, they're already in time. And that's how a drum machine typically works. And we can replicate that workflow in Reaper. So let's go through this. We'll start off by making a new track. Let's name it Drum Machine. Then let's go down over here and change the tempo of our song. It defaults to 120, but I want to use 118. Then we need to make a loop. We'll go up here to the ruler and just drag from bar one to bar three, which is going to make a two bar loop. But we could also make it four or eight bars or anything we want. Then we need to turn on looping. Right down here in the transport is the repeat on and off. Turn that on. Now Reaper's going to loop just these two bars, bar one to bar three. Now we need to create a MIDI item. Hold on Control on the PC or Command on the Mac and drag from here to here, which is going to create an empty MIDI item. I prefer to do it this way so we can record into the item so it'll overdub on each pass. Then we'll set up our input by going into record, going to the input, and setting it to input MIDI. And I'm going to use my USB MIDI keyboard set to all channels. Now my USB MIDI keyboard is being represented down here. This is not a part of Reaper. I just put this here so you could see what I'm playing. And notice when I hit the keys, we could see it in the meter right here. So we know this track is receiving MIDI. Then we'll go to the record mode over here and change it from recording the input, audio, or MIDI to record MIDI overdub right here and choose the MIDI overdub feature. That's going to allow us to overdub the recording without erasing the previous passes. Again, what's typical with a drum machine. But what's also typical is to quantize on the way in. So we'll hear it back quantized on the next loop. Just right click over here, go down to track recording settings, and turn on quantize track MIDI recording. We can set this to 16ths, eighths, or whatever we want. I'm going to use eighths because I'm only using eighth notes in the performance. So we can close this. And now we need a sound source to play back our samples. I'm going to use a free drum machine instrument plugin called Satala because it's really simple. And again, it's free. So I'm going to right click the effects button because I already saved it as a favorite right here. And it looks like this. Now it comes with sounds by default, which sounds like this. But I'm going to use some custom ones that I saved from some of my favorite drum machines. So I'll go up here to New Kit, go to my hard drive, where I saved some samples and just drag them in. I have a kick, which I'll put on C2. I have a snare which I'll put on D2. I have some claps, which I'll put on E2, a hi-hat for F sharp two, and then some single shot samples. I'll put the first one on G2, then A2, and B2. And let's hear them. Now we're ready to record our drum machine style drum part. 
Let's close this and let's record into this item. Let's first create a click track. We can right click over here and make sure it's turned on right here. We'll set it to only play during recording, not playback, and create a counting during recording, not playback. I'm going to set it to one bar. So we'll get one bar of counting just before recording. And like I said, we can record on separate passes, but let's just start with the kick and snare. Going to record. And like I said, it's going to loop over and over, ready to add more passes. Let's add the claps. And again, it quantizes on the way in. So on each pass during playback, the timing is perfect. Let's stop it. Now if we double click the MIDI item, it opens up in the MIDI editor. We can see the notes a bit better. And edit them from here. Like for example, if we want to delete and replay the kick, we can just right click the kick sound. Notice they're labeled over here. Right click it, just select them all, and just delete it. Now we can replay the kick part. And we can see it recording from this window. Let's add the hi hat. If you want to adjust the volume of the hi hat, just right click that and adjust it right here. And like I said, we can record all the passes at once. Let's do them all again. But this time we'll include the single shots. And again, if you want to replace or redo any part, like the clap, just right click it and delete it. We're ready to record just that part. And we're happy with this part. We can just move it through the song. It already defaults to looping, so we can drag it out like this. We'll just duplicate it using Control on the PC or Command on the Mac and duplicate it as we want. And then change the part in the different sections we want. Like we could remove the claps and snares right here. And it'll be different just for this section. And then change to normal over here. We'll change this one to not have the snare, like this. So we could build an arrangement out of that first recorded drum machine style loop. So that's pretty much it. That's drum machine style MIDI recording in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.
Ah!